Hello there, I'm Kim Gow from Colour Passion Land. Lovely to have you join me today. And what I thought we would do is a warm colour creation. Last time we did the cooler colours, so I thought let's do the warmer colours today. So I'm going to show you how to change colours up a little bit. We've got the Pilbara Ochre, we've got Soft Peach Lustre uh, there in the paste. We've got um, Orange Zest Desert Rose, which is one of my favourites of the, the famous gel tint, the Colour Passion gel tint. Uh, really love it. Serendipity. Um, always a favourite, that's a paste, but I thought it's a very soft colour. So let's uh, change that up and we might add um, a little bit of orange into that. Maybe Desert Rose or maybe the Orange Zest. I don't know, I'll think about that between now and when we actually do the pour. And um, I'm going to mix the Lemon Twist and the Mandarin Powders together. Haven't done it before, so you'll learn as I'm learning and we'll just see what happens. And uh, maybe I'll just make up a bit more resin. If it's a disaster, that's okay. We don't have to worry. Um, the Bronze Lustre, I thought, mm, let's change that up a little bit as well. We've got some Burnt Toffee Sparkle. Um, again, it's one of my favourites. Oh, I'm a girl of sparkle, I'm afraid. I love a bit of bling. Anyway, so we're going to do that. And probably another couple between now and when I get to the other side of the camera. I thought today what I might do actually is... Um, have it sort of organized and the resin poured because I think it's going to be a lot easier to do that rather than mix them in little cups and then add. I've always done it um, that way. I've always mixed as I'm working just before I do the pour. So we'll do that and uh, see how we go. So come along for the fun and I hope you can learn a thing or two. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, we're back again and let's have some fun all right so now i'm going to I've, I've mixed the resin we're using the barnes epoxy glass because it is a resin so far that i really like so i'm just going to pop into the cups i've made up extra just in case and we can have a bit of a play and we might even pour some into a mold that's what i'm thinking got something in mind but well it's a slightly bigger board as well and square for something a little bit different and then what I wanted to do I'm actually going to mix some glitters so we're talking about mixing colours, but I thought, why not mix some glitters to change it up a little bit and see what we can do there. Not just drizzled resin, that was clever, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, just wiping that out to make sure we've got all the resin out we can get out. then I'm going to pop that on its side as you've seen before if you've seen any videos and then tomorrow I will twist it out and pull it out and we can simply reuse it okay so I've got a bit more here so I'm just going to even up some of these amounts here As I say, I did mix up a bit more resin today. So we'll see how it goes. Beautiful. Okay, so the first one, what we're going to do, <clears throat> Purple Honor. I love this color. It's uh, a really dark purple, but it is more of the warmer palette. And honestly, it is a stunning color. So we'll just, oops, sorry. We'll just mix that uh, with the resin. It's, it's a gorgeous deep purple shade. Oh, I've got resin over here, so I'll just wipe that 
stop it so I don't contaminate everything. These uh, sugar wipes are just the best thing. I don't know overseas if you can get them, but Sally Sugar Soap Wipes. They're available in Bunnings in Australia and they are amazing for getting rid of any resin where you don't want it or colors on your skin, <clears throat> hands, amazing. Now what I'm gonna add now to this is this new color I've created and I've called it Kaleidoscope Sparkle Interference. It's all, this, all these sparkle interference colors and it has a couple of other things added to it as well. It is sensational. So I really wanna add that sparkle to that. It's just gorgeous. I, I'm so excited about this. It's now available, by the way. I've created it, mixed it, and I've put it on the site. Look at that, it's gonna be stunning. Hopefully you can see that, okay. Okay, the next one, we're going to mix mandarin and lemon twist and see what happens with that. I have no idea because I've never done this one before. So we'll see. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. Turn that up the other way. So lemon twist, I'll put here, and mandarin. Now, let's see what happens when we mix it. So it's softer orange, but much softer, which actually is really pretty. Hmm, okay, that's that one, it's changed it up a bit. Now, this one is going to be serendipity. Oh, and that one's gone hard. If ever this happens, all you need to do is pop it into a, a tub of hot water, obviously making sure it's sealed. So I'm just gonna do that and I'll be back. Okay, so what I've done is I've popped that into a bowl of very hot water. I will leave it in there for a few minutes and take it out and hopefully it'll all be perfect again. So we'll put that to one side and we'll deal with that in a minute. Um, I'll just start with this one. So this one, I've got soft peach luster. I thought it was easier this time round to do it into the resin rather than try and mix it into the little tubs and put it in because this is the way I would normally do it. Okay, so. This is the soft peach luster. We will. It's a really pretty colour, this one. It's got the luster to it, and it's a, it is exactly that. It's a soft peach. So, what I'm going to do is I want to add some, just get it like a bit more depth. So, I'm just going to put some of our, it must be just about empty. Oh dear. I've used it so much. <laughs> It is empty. All right, well. well that's worked a treat anyway. It's beautiful. Just to see if I can just get a bit more out. Am I going to be able to do that? Just a smidge more. Come on. No, I think it's empty. Let's just see if we can get the last little bit out. If we can't, we can't. What I'll do is I shall just get another one because I happen to have plenty of stocks sitting by. And these gel tints are amazing. So let's pump, we're just giving us a couple of pumps. Okay, that's probably all I'm gonna need. Yep, beautiful. So it's just taking it from that really soft Color, just giving it a, a little bit more color. I'm happy with that. That's really pretty. Okay, 
then I'm going to add, uh, that's right, I was going to add this to it, wasn't I? Which is burnt toffee sparkle as well. Just add just a little bit of something to it. Not a lot, just a little bit. should glow beautifully I'm hoping um, in the sunshine when we do our reveal okay so the next one we'll mix Pilbara ochre Ooh, we've got a new one here so we'll just open that up Wiping my hands Always give your paste a little bit of a stir because if they've been sitting a while, they sometimes can separate. Okay, so we've got the Pilbara ochre in there. And I thought, let's change it and put a bit of bronze luster in it and see what happens. So none of this has been tried before, so it's <laughs> you're seeing it as I see it. But that's the fun of it. And I'm thinking that'll just give that Pilbara ochre a bit of a luster. And it has, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I really like that. It was a great choice. Okay. Then I thought something a little different. We've got our, whoops, I used to dribble that. This is our uh, Soft Rose Passion, I believe. It's a gorgeous color. I thought, let's put that in. I thought, let's step it up a little. In fact, I'm just going to take that bit that I dribbled on there off. And I thought, I might add some of this one, which is the Deep Mauve Satin. Again, just to change the colour up a bit. adore playing with colors and creating other colors so it's not work for me I just love it mm, that's pretty very pretty okay so next we're going to mix up some glitters together I thought I'd try the Diva, which is our colour shift or colour change glitter. So we'll put some of that in. And I thought, why not try some of the exotic Mandarin and the Citron Ice. Because these in their own right are beautiful. I thought, let's just add to it and see what it does. Hmm, that's interesting. Whoa, I think that's gonna be gorgeous. Wow, because it's got the, the bigger, um, uh, chunks if you like of the diva uh, the color change and then it's got the smaller sparkle of the citron ice and the um, mandarin exotic mandarin so that's going to be really pretty right so we've done those 
So now let's come back to the serendipity and see if it's been all long enough. I hope it has. Just sometimes, there's only a couple of colours that this affects. I know Judy Shimmer is one and the Serendipity from time to time. For some reason, oh, there we go. I think that should be okay. Get enough out of it. Still a bit firm in the middle, but you can see around the outsides, it's all perfectly fine. Such a pretty, pretty colour. All right, so we'll just try and get enough of that one there into here okay and that the warmth of that probably will go through the whole tub anyway and it will be fine see how that's just a gorgeous shimmer of a lovely lovely delicate soft pink so now what I want to do is just to change that up a bit and I'm going to put in one squeeze of Desert Rose, our gel tint. Perfect. Don't need any more. That is gorgeous. See how that's now changed it to, from the pink tone, more to a very soft, well, Apricot, I suppose. Peach. That's pretty. All right. So we're going well. Now it's time to have fun and pour. So we'll just take these off of the top here for the moment. Okay, we've got quite a bit of resin here. So, we'll see what happens. Now, I'm just going to wipe down this board because I've managed to make what a mess. And whilst it's absolutely fine, let me just clean it just a bit. It'll be poured all over anyway. So, I'm never worried about clear resin because, as I said, it's all going to be covered. But let's see how we go alrighty so we'll start with a darker color which of course no doubt would be our gorgeous purple honor with the kaleidoscope the new kaleidoscope color so I have no idea of how we're gonna do this I can just do that for now so I'm hoping I'll have enough left to just put something else this one is really pretty we change the colors it's a little bit hard to remember what they are it's pretty it's the deep mauve satin I think this is the lovely Serendipity with the uh, Desert Rose. Just pretty, pretty, pretty. Now we've got the Pilbara Ochre, and that was with the Bronze Luster in it. was the one where we added the burnt toffee I 
pink to the soft peach luster. It's over here, I think. This is all going to be moved around, so I'm not worried that it's all coming over the top of one another. This resin's got a mind of its own. It's going to do what it wants to do anyway. This is really pretty. This is the one where we mixed up the lemon twist and the mandarin powder. That is already so pretty. Now, what I'm going to do now, this is the sparkle mixture. So, goodness only knows what it's going to turn out like, but it looks pretty sensational. Wowza. Very pretty. Mmm, do like that. Got a little bit left. Mm, gee, what do I do with it? Maybe I'll just put it to one side. Because we can overdo it. Alright, so what I'll do is I'm going to just heat this gently to burst the bubbles. Then, what I'm going to do is just move the board so that we make sure that everything is covered. Whoop, bit off the end there. Okay, so we've got the board covered. So now what we might do is just hit it with this and just I know that pearl usually laces up beautifully, so we'll just see what happens. Obviously, it's got to be over a colour to, so you can see it, because otherwise you're not going to see it. Okay, what I might do if I've got it plugged in, we've got our heat gun. So we might even just push that around a bit. Glitter is amazing. And so is that purple corner.
Okay, so I think we'll leave it at that for the moment. So you can see how, look at the beautiful lacing there. That was from the Serendipity with the uh, Desert Rose gel tint added into it. That's laced up beautifully over the Pilbara. Um, you can see here, we've got the pearl over top of the, which one was that one? The Deep Mauve um, added to, which one was it now? Goodness me. Not the Pilbara Ochre, I think it was the Soft Peach Luster actually. Mm. And then you've got this gorgeous, beautiful shade of orange, which is the Tangerine and the Lemon Twist Mixed. So loving that sparkle through there. That's really going to be pretty. Okay, so what we'll do now is I'm going to let this sit for about 20 minutes. Then I'll come back and I will remove the outside um, of that tab, the tape, sorry, um, and then we'll go from there. What I do want to do on the side here, I'm going to, and you can still see that, I'm going to pour this leftover bit into this mold. Now this is the Purple Honor with the Kaleidoscope Sparkle Interference, which is my new favorite color. Available now on the site. I put it up last night, so it's live now. You can order it. And we've only put it in a 25 mil size container and it's only $11.50. I thought, let's try and keep the price down on this and that was the way to do it, to put it into a smaller size container. So you're not missing out, but I think that that is a really good way to do it so that everybody can have a try of it. Because if you're gonna be loving it like I do, you probably have to put it in a bigger size. But anyway, for now, let's get started with introducing it to you and seeing how you like it. Right, let's cover that up beautifully. Okay, so we're gonna leave that now and that can just sit and set as well. And I'll be back in around 20 minutes and we'll remove the tape and see where we are. Okay, don't go away. Okay, we're back again. It's been just over 20 minutes. So I'm just going to remove this outer tape and let it run over the side so we get nice edges I never pull it over the top of the pour because if you do sorry I'm just putting that tape straight into me if you do you can end up with threads that look like a fine hair across your work and trust me you don't want that so I'm just with my fingers, just running around. And that's nice, it's not flooding off at all. It's perfect timing, actually. Just making sure that that bottom edge, if you can visualize the bottom third of it, is wet with resin. The top, I know, is gonna come over the top of that, and we're gonna end up with a beautiful edge, which may not be important to you, but I particularly like a nice edge. I'm really pretty with this, uh, pretty. I'm really happy with this so far. It's so pretty. Uh, I'm loving the sparkle. That's really gorgeous. And the lacing and things that are happening. So that's great. All right, let's um, let it cure overnight and I'll show you tomorrow what it has ended up like. So. Thank you for tuning in and uh, I'll be back obviously very shortly in the land of video and uh, I'll show you how it's turned out. Okay. Hello there. I just thought we would un unmold the uh, lovely new sparkle, which is the Kaleidoscope Sparkle Interference. And we put this one in the Purple Honor Powder. So I thought um, that this evening, um, because there's absolutely no sunshine today. It's been pouring with rain all day here in Western Australia, in, in Perth. So um, I've left it until tonight. And hopefully um, I'll be able to show you some nice sparkle with this. So let's just undo it. 
And here we are. Wow, that's pretty. Really pretty, isn't it? Okay, so it's worked really well and that's with a powder. And it works particularly well also in um, pastes. So this is the purple on a powder we put this into with the new wonderful Kaleidoscope Sparkle Interference, which is now online and available for order. Wonderful. I'm so happy with this product. It's just definitely going to be one of my favourites. Okay, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, we'll move on to the the reveal on the other bigger piece, which was the um, warm colours, creation of the warm colours. Okay, here we are back and we're now having a look at our main piece. Loving, absolutely loving that sparkle. Uh, and here, and why I like it is because I had a fair amount of resin on here and it's sunk in a bit, so it's not overdone. Um, I really like that effect. So we've also got the beautiful purple honor coming through here. That's the darker color. And that has got our new kaleidoscope sparkle interference. Um, as I mentioned with the other mold, unfortunately, no sunshine today. So I'm inside and it just doesn't quite do it as much justice. However, we'll make do. This one here is the serendipity um, with the, which one was it? Serendipity with the, spit it out. Uh, I'm trying to find it here for you. With the, we did the Burnt Sparkle, the Serendipity, and the Desert Rose. So um, that's actually this one, I beg your pardon. That is that one. This one here, I believe, is the Soft Peach Luster. So Soft Peach Luster with the, the gel tint, the orange zest gel tint. So that is that one there just come up beautiful i must say it's absolutely gorgeous how that's shimmering and a bit more around here very delicate but it's um it's really really pretty very happy with that then we've got the pilbara ochre and then that was added we added the uh, bronze luster with that one so quite happy with that it's just lightened it up and it's given it a beautiful uh sheen to that which of course you can't really see in this light unfortunately but uh certainly if you're outdoors you would and then we've got this gorgeous color sneaking through here here and here and that is where i mixed the two powders and that was the lemon twist and the mandarin so really happy with that color and overall uh yeah happy with it so i've missed one haven't i um which one was it? Oh, I know. It's this one here. It is the Deep Mauve Satin, which is this colour through here. And that was mixed with the uh, Soft soft Rose Passion. Soft Rose Passion and Deep Mauve Satin. And that has created that beautiful colour through there. Really happy with that. I think I'll have to do some more with it. So overall, look, I'm really happy with this. It's very pretty. And... Um, um, I'm loving the, the mixtures of what we've created together. So hopefully you've learned a thing or two and uh, I would love your thumbs up on this video if you've uh, enjoyed it and would really appreciate you subscribing because I'm building the channel and would really love your support. And uh, hopefully I'll have many more to come. So thank you for tuning in and uh, I look forward to catching you on the next video. Kim Gow signing out for today. Bye for now.